Hello and welcome back to another World Box video. I love this game as much as you do, clearly, because you voted for a video to do for my 100 subscriber special. And that is right, we have reached 100 subscribers. Hopefully we can get to like 1,000 maybe in the next like 100 years, hopefully. But speaking of 100 years, today we're going to do a 100 year war in World Box. A 100 year war for 100 subscribers, so each subscriber gets their own year in the war. Of course, if you subscribed after we got 100 subscribers, then uh, you don't get a year. And you'd have to wait until we get like 500 or 1000 subscribers in the next 100 years. So we've got a few kingdoms already, I mean quite a lot of kingdoms, and if you don't know by the way, we're on the map that I did my first World Box video on, so this map is called Three Islands, and it's on the Steam Workshop, and I did my first World Box video on this map. Anyway, let's not waste any more time with the introduction and get straight on with the video, we've got a few kingdoms. Now, the way we're going to do this is we're going to send them all to war by getting them some spite, so we'll just put some spite on all of them, and then they should all hate each other. So let's see how they do at this war, I'm pretty sure they're all at war right now. And it's going to go for 100 years for each subscriber, so we're going to get to the year 350. Of course some countries like this one are a lot safer than others, they are on islands, so they're going to have to wait to get boats. Uh, same with this one up here, it's on an island, so they're going to have to get boats. And they can't get knocked out until they get boats, because otherwise no one can go and fight them and end the war. I'm going to put the speed up to times 3 because I don't want this video to go too slowly but I don't want it to go too quickly either. So we'll put it at times 3 which is kind of in the middle. Now I've decided to add two more countries, nations, whatever you want to call them just to uh, connect the like dots because I feel like there's some gaps in between these empires and we want it to be like constant at war and they're not going to be at war if they're all separated outwards. I feel like Great Yerfi and Back are going to go to war soon or like fight soon, they're already at war. And it looks like uh, Realm of Four has just taken out this whole island and a few more countries have gone. Back has gone and Great Yerfi has gone. Although somehow Yerfus Poro uh, is still alive. What's it called? The Omad. That's the name of the empire. Somehow it's got 15 people and it's got people either side of it or countries either side of it. There we go. That's what I wanted. And Yerfus Poro is now belonging to the kingdom of Shimyu Hegemony. Well, I spoke too soon because it looks like it belongs to Great Kai now. It looks like these two armies are going to the opposite like countries because they're fighting. Quite funny, it looks like this army's got their first, but might be fighting in the middle here. Oh, there is fighting. We've got some action going on there. And it looks like the pink one, whatever it's called, Honey, that's quite nice, uh, has taken over Ashidran. And now Great Evonu, 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 has, uh, has fallen. These names are very strange. We'll just put up with them though for now. These island countries still have no one to like access because they haven't built boats yet. Oh, what's that? Is that a tornado? I don't think I've ever seen a tornado in this game. Oh, there are some boats, so they are learning boats. Oh, the tornado's going straight for Euroshuk. And if you want to see more of this World Box game, which is quite a good game, I quite like it. And then make sure to subscribe. I know we don't really have milestones to get to anymore because 100, we've already got to 100. But maybe we can get to 500 someday, and that'll be halfway to 1,000. Of course, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon, but it'll be nice if you can subscribe. Then you can see some more videos like this one in the future. Also, lets me know that you want to see more videos like this. The aid, which is this little island down here, doesn't seem to be doing well. It's got like fires. It's, uh, I think this was hit by the earthquake as well or something because there's fires, the house is destroyed. I mean, what has happened here? That, that nice building was destroyed. I only got three people left. There's more houses than there are people fighting down here for some reason. And it looks like this mage is burning down this entire town. Have they died? I think they've all died. Oh. Oh yeah, great. Wuvuv has been destroyed. We've not got that many countries left now, I've only got one, two, three, four, five, six countries left. Oh, okay, so Shimu Heganomi is like one of us Poro, I just don't want to pronounce that too dodgily, um, which is interesting because now Great Key has half the population, or like less than half the population of its competitor. More tornadoes? Goodness me, there's all sorts of stuff happening. There's fighting at Great Key's capital. 
Look at all this action, fighting, and there's fires and everything, and children, they're killing the children. And it looks like Great Keep was destroyed, and now Shimu Hegemony owns this island. So it looks like the three, like, the three island empires have uh, got all their islands. The uh, kingdom, whatever it was called, Great Ma, that's the one, uh, has just been destroyed. Everyone's died. I mean, there's one house left. I think it's like a mage or someone. Because I've got random events turned on, like things like this mage here, uh, Vama, who is her mage, I think, um, can, like, kill people. I think these uh, islands are more at war with, like, the mages and the tornadoes than anything else. Although I do want this war to hurry up, so I think I'm going to get uh, the plain soil. Not so big. Have, like, this brush size here, and it'll connect up some areas. In a natural way, because we want it to be aesthetically pleasing. Very aesthetically pleasing. I did not mean to do that, actually. I meant to select a smaller brush, but we can make it work. So now all the islands are connected up by these uh, oddly shaped bridges and uh, ugly bridges. Which means, of course, they can fight each other easily. And so it looks like the aid has decided to try and attack the biggest empire, I want to say. Oh, no, the biggest one is 205 population. Realm of Vor. But the second biggest one is Shimu Hegemony, and the aid looks like it's going after that one. Although they want to go over here, and they're going to have to send their army past the uh, Shimu Hegemony, which is obviously not going to go well because they're all at war, so they're going to just kill each other as soon as they try to go all the way over there. And now they want to go over there. Oh, goodness me, what's going on over here? Fighting up there in the top island. So I've connected them all up and they're all fighting each other. So why do, why do the aid want to go over that way? Because this is the biggest empire, clearly. And also, to get there, they're going to have to go past this empire and this empire. Although Honey Empire, unfortunately, is uh, losing this. It's only got 27 people. It's the smallest right now. And it looks like the army of the Realm of the Vor is uh, trying to get down here. And obviously... In return, the army of the aid is also going up here, or all the way around there. Not very tactical, because, I mean, they're going to meet some resistance. Like this fight down here by the beach. And it looks like Realm of the Vor is just charging through. They've gone through that one, now they're going through that one. They're taking out Shimu Hegemony, only just to get down here, because for some reason they hate this country. It's only got an army of two people. And there goes uh, another one of the Shimu Hegemony's villages. Uh, lost to the great realm of the war. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do something really quite evil. I'm going to get my water. And uh, just make it quite a small brush size. And I'm going to protect them. Because I don't, I don't want the people of the aid to die so quickly. This isn't cheating. I just, I just want to protect them. What's this? Is this like an evil, evil mage or something? Yeah, that's an evil mage. Uh, that's problematic. Looks like the entire village is going to burn down. And I just put all that effort into protecting them, making this channel for them. Now they're going to get burnt to the ground. And in the meantime, Realm of the Vort has just like taken out the entire world. Basically belongs entirely to Realm of the Vort. The Realm of the Vort, they've played it very tactically. They took out the entire island that they've got and then they just went straight for the furthest away possible island and on the way they just picked off every other country and these mages are proving quite a challenge for the smaller islands with less space because the mages can get through them quicker and eventually eliminate them and it looks like the aid i can never remember these names uh, the aid have fallen almost i mean there's only eight people left oh somehow i missed it but uh, the Kingdom of Honey has just been destroyed and is uh, now belonging to the Realm of the Vore, which means the only thing left to challenge the Realm of the Vore is the aid with nine people. Doesn't seem very fair that it's uh, 10v 533, does it? And um, we've still got 24 subscriber years to get through, so we're going to have to just leave them there and uh, wait and see what happens. They haven't made boats yet, so if they can make boats, then... Maybe something will happen, but it looks like the mages, they're helping out the aid now, because the mages are taking out this entire village. Of course, I do have the power to resurrect people, so we can uh, bring back honey if we wanted. 
Of course, that's not actually how you spell honey, as in the bee stuff, the, the bee poop, but it's just how you spell it in a world box, because that was what it was before, and now we've resurrected honey. I think it was pink, so we'll make it pink. That seems pink enough, and now honey has been resurrected from the dead, so there is someone that can face, uh, whatever it's called, the realm of the vor. Don't know how long it's going to last, though. We'll give them some, uh, what's it called, spite, so they're at war with other people as well. Although, realistically, I don't think they're going to last very long. Looks like that evil mage took out an entire village, and because it is the, like, the age of sun, the fire is, like, quite strong, and is tearing through up towards the town of, the, uh, the dodgy town of Ufukapuro. Ufusporo, I think we're going to call it. Yep, as suspected, it is burning down the village already. Is this the evil mage is doing, or is it just a fire? I think it might just be a fire. Of course, there are the fire animals, which are probably doing some of the work, like this animal down here, called Pyro Spirit. Hang on a minute, what happened? Have they got boats now? Oh no, the aid was destroyed and I missed it. When was this? Right, we're going to world history. Oh right, just now, 333, the aid was destroyed. That was only a year ago. Well, that's, uh, that's a unfortunate. I thought the aid was going to last longer than that. They must have made that boat and then sent that boat after this uh, little island with the aid on it. And of course the mage did most of the work. Looks like still problems in Euphus Poro, which has just been destroyed. The dodgy town that I didn't really want to pronounce has uh, been destroyed. And there's also fires over here going straight for Eurushak. And they are fighting up here, but I think they're just fighting the evil mage again. So, honey has now been destroyed, which means there was only one kingdom left out of the, like, six or so there were. There were quite a lot. Uh, 466 people, and they're all part of the realm of the fort. However, they are still at war with the mages. And we still have 12 subscribers to uh, account for, or subscriber years, so we are going to have to intervene. So, you know what? We're going to have them at war with the Cybercore people, so... We're going to get the cyber core and uh, put some around the place and they're going to be at war with them instead because it's supposed to be a hundred year war for a hundred subscribers and there's not only a war if there's only one kingdom so we'll have them at war with the invaders which are the cyber core and we'll see how that see how that plays out humans might die at this point of course there is fighting the little cyber core people with their guns i think they've got guns haven't they shotguns are killing the people I mean, these shotguns are quite powerful, which means they are still at war and already killed 200 people. Fires are spreading throughout the place at the same time. These people with their shotguns, that's a rare weapon, wow, uh, are still shooting people. Basically, there's only two people left on this island because of the cyber cores. But that's certainly quick. Still got 10 years. I mean, the war, the war keeps trying to end and we've still got 10 subscribers to go. Just put a few more cyber cores around the place. Uh, we need to... Like, fight in honour of the aid. So they're going to fight, uh, whatever it's called, Realm of the Vor. So, that was in honour of aid, by the way. And it looks like they're being pushed right back to the top. There's not many of them left. The cyber cores are doing their job for me and uh, for the other towns. Kud somehow is still there with one person. Uh, Realm of the Vor being pushed back over here now, which was the original island of, I cannot remember... It's like Great Ma, I think was the original name of that island, or empire. The Cyber Corps has completely taken over this land, and hopefully they're still at war. We can basically say they're still at war, because, I mean, surely they're still at war. They have to be at war. They're still fighting as well. Fire has pretty much destroyed this island, and is still destroying this island. Fire is also destroying this island, so they're at war with the fire as well, metaphorically. We've got two subscribers left, these are my last two subscribers, I guess we've got more since, but we won't talk about that. And remember, I very much appreciate all my subscribers, it's amazing to get to 100 subscribers. Very much appreciate it, thank you all for subscribing. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, then maybe consider it if you want to see more videos like this one. And if you did like this video, then make sure to give it a like. And there's the year 350, so that's 100 years of war in World Box for 100 subscribers. And we're going to end by getting out the Tsar Bomb and uh, doing what we do best. Which is destroying my computer along with World Box. Isn't this beautiful? 
and uh, thank you for watching it's been fun making this video I um, hope you've enjoyed it oh this bit's destroying my computer even more goodness me um, the water is all flowing in there's still some remnants of the island anyway uh, thank you for watching and bye bye